Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't been this excited for an ESC in a while just because it's so cheap and it seems like it's going to be good. So this is $11 and they're stating it's a Beale Heli 32-bit ESC. Here it says Beale Heli S. So I have tested this right now but I'm not going to say anything about the testing. However, what I'm going to do right now is I am actually going to see if it actually Beale Heli 32. So I'm actually going to connect to this guy and check if it is Beale Heli 32 real quick and then we, I will come back and we'll just go over these specifications and go over the testing and see how well it does. So be right back, guys. All right, so here I got myself a battery. And let's just give take power here. So here's positive. We'll take positive here. And where's my alligator clip here? We're going to take negative. I'm going to connect it through the Arduino. And um, just double check everything, really, because um, if it is... Beal Heli 32, the next step I'm going to do is actually test telemetry on this guy. So in theory, we are connected here. Alright, so let me just find Beal Heli 32 on the PC, and we should be able to test it. So where is it? There it is. Alright. So please work. Alright, so I might have to update it. So we need, um, I think it's four-way if. Okay, it's port three, no port eight, connect. All right, it's connecting. Oh, oh, we connected. Reading setup. Uh, yes, okay. All right, okay. All right, well, so far, it I got it to connect, but it's unknown, the ESC is unknown, so it's probably, I don't know what's up with it. So I have a pretty old version of VL Heli 32, so I'm downloading it right now. And um, there it is. So let me just skip over this until it finishes downloading. It's only four megabytes anyways. So yeah, that just took three seconds. All right, so just give me a moment. I'll skip over this so I don't waste your time. All right, guys, so it wouldn't connect until I downloaded the new BL Heli 32 and it connected. So this is actually a BL Heli 32 ESC, which is absolutely sweet. I'm very excited. So as you can see right there. So that is sweet. So let me just quickly show you real quick. I'm sorry I'm not using any video capture device right now, but um, yeah. So uh, let's just disconnect here and let me show you. So I had the older version open, which is, we have to go back here and we have to go to this one. And if we open this one here, it won't connect so just double check we're disconnected so this is the older one right here and this is the one I just downloaded right now so I'm connecting through uh, Arduino down here and if we were to say connect read setup see erase or unknown firmware say OK and then you say flash it wouldn't flash so I was very worried because the typo on the ESC but if we close this and this is the new one and we say connect read setup boom we got it that is just sweet i'm very happy so it's rocking bill 32 3 32.1 version here and it's the ks bill 32 uh 30 amp so flash do we have any new updates no we're all we're, it's running the latest so that's pretty sweet so we can this is the pdr and frequency usually some you know some people notice issues on 48 kilohertz but if you just increase it ever so slightly and see what keeps working for you, the maximum you can get it, the smoother the ESC will run. So that is sweet. I did not do this. I, I just worked on uh, default 24 kilohertz when I did the testing now. So um, I'm actually very excited, guys. I'm, I'm very happy now. So good thing we've tested this. And now we will just go over the specifications and then quickly put it on for the noise testing because I have some very special plans for this guy and I will tell you in a little bit so let me just clean this area up here I don't want anything to short out and have a battery explode on my desk here so um, that's the last thing we want so let's just unplug everything okay these are very crappy alligator clips that are always slipping all right so there we go and there we go Perfect. So let's move this guy and let's come back to this guy. So, all right. Okay. So this is a 30 amp ESC and it's rated two to a 4S LiPo. So that's pretty sweet. And once we get it to focus here, 
Okay, so it says Bill Halley S, but this is, I guess this is a typo as we just saw it actually works. And this could be the telemetry pad right there. Um, it could be, I'm not sure. I will test that later on. Uh, hopefully it has telemetry because I have special ideas for this guy. It's gonna be pretty insane. So as you can see, we have some nice filtration here. We have a bunch of caps here. One, two, three, and we have one, two, three, four, five. So there's 13 caps right there. One tantalum capacitor. Um, and well, it's very tiny actually. It's pretty small. It's one of those tiny ones. I think it's it's a little bit bigger than the Emax Bullet and probably 10 times better than the Emax Bullet. But let's see. All right, so let's just zero at our scale and check it out. So its width is 13.1 uh, and the length is gonna be a bit difficult to measure for you on camera. And it's 26.5, 26.6 in length and the overall width of the PCB here not including uh, the highest points is around 1.5 millimeters, I think, because it's very difficult to get it. But anyways, we're just gonna get the highest point points because that's what really matters. So from the highest points is 4.8, 4.8 millimeters. So it's very good in that perspective. And let's just check its weight with all the wires because I know this is important also to most people. And this is this is an eleven dollar thirty two bit ESC, rocking the latest Bill Heli thirty two. It's six grams, and I'm sure if you cut the wires, that's another gram off. So we could probably say five grams. Just double check. Yeah, six grams. Okay, that's good. So overall, um, it seems promising. It does have a tiny heat shrink. It's very small. It takes two to four S lipo, so I don't recommend putting a five S on this guy. But you can try it. But if you blow it out, that's um, don't come complaining to anybody. Um, so enough talking actually and let's get started All right, guys, so how did the testing do? Um, it did very well. It has some noise, but that noise can be buffed out with just increasing the PWM frequency, which that's why I love BLH32 ESCs. And for $11, are you getting more than what you paid for? Actually, you're getting a very good deal. I, I'm very pleased with this. I might actually even get more if I needed more. Uh, so far from the testing, it seems absolutely beautiful. Uh, the test that you just saw was not including increasing the PWM frequency. It's just on stock settings, how it came. And um, yeah, I'm just impressed. Now, the, the voltage spike was up to 25, 24, and it was averaging around there, the voltage spike. The voltage drop was 11.6, which is totally fine, totally acceptable because... Um, from what I see, just on default, just adding one possible low ESR capacitor just to the main uh, PDB or flight controller or your all-in-one flight controller should clean it out. And I don't see a need to actually put a low ESR on each one of these um, at, at, from my testing and from my results and from my per previous experience with this stuff. So, so far, it seems like a very promising EC for $11. I'm going to be building this right away um what i have planned for this guy is actually we are going to build a budget high end in a way high end as in like the newest stuff like f4 flight controller telemetry bill heli 32 and all that kind of stuff so a cheap high end budget quadcopter which is waterproof so you know winter's coming and it's raining like crazy here and i want to fly I, I just don't want to be stuck at home so this is this is my plan for this guy because it's cheap and if we do ruin something with our you know this is going to be my first time ever waterproofing quads so i don't have a problem with just picking up more of these now as far as the testing goes i believe it did very well it's a, it's average it's a little bit above average for 11 dollars, it's very good in my personal um in my opinion right now but the overall real world and real life testing i have i have no idea i have not done this so i really can't say anything there but what i can say is, is if anyone's used it please let us know down in the comment section because i'm very curious and i'm sure others are as well also until i build this guy and we take him out and see how he does but overall i'm impressed i really do like it and i really do think 
um, this is this is not money wasted so far from this testing and um, I'm very excited and I'm very happy to be honest um, I haven't been so excited for such an ES it's just it's so tiny so cheap so good it's not so good but it's good um, and yeah so this is I, I for me I really like it for some reason I don't know why but um, overall, that's all I can say, guys. That that that's really all I can say and show you right now until we build it and take it out. And like I said, if anyone's used it, please let us know. And um, yeah, so that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helps someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And if I did help you, if you could use any of my affiliate links down there, that would be super awesome. You really help the channel. And um, if you guys wanted to be my patreon supporter that would be awesome that'd be great and um that's all i have to say right now guys so uh take care and i will see you next time see you guys take care